Hello everyone, happy Thursday devotion. Pastor Sarah here with you this week. Um, I wanted to share a little bit about brighter days. Um, it's our sermon theme, sermon series theme, this um, rally, couple rally days. And um, it is talking about how much brighter our lives are um, when we have Christ in them. Um, and Pastor Matthew um, kind of kicked off the whole sermon series with the staff here with a Tuesday morning devotion. Um, and he talked about a story from a Church Anew event and um, that one of the leaders shared um, about where they saw their days brightened. Um, and so I thought I would kind of piggyback off of that and talk about that um, we we have brighter days all around us um, and sometimes we don't always recognize them when they're happening um, so when we shared our brighter days um, certainly the couple of things that I shared um, with staff were things that were highlights um, but I forgot one of my main highlight of a brighter day um, and so the, sh the story I want to share of like what has been a bright day for me um, and kind of why that was a bright day um, was on last Friday, a lot of breweries now this time are coming out with Oktoberfest, but one in particular in Minneapolis had something called a Doctoberfest. So if you um, don't know what that means, it means it's a Dachshund Oktoberfest. Um, and so they invited anybody who had a dachshund um, to come and to celebrate Oktoberfest, and they had hot dogs um, and things like that. And um, if there's anything that you should know about me, um, I'm obsessed with wiener dogs. Um, I grew up with wiener dogs. I have one now named Lucy. And so I love wiener dogs. And so my husband Edward and I um, and some friends went to this brewery to um, celebrate Doctoberfest. We took Lucy with us. And um, the minute I walked in the door, I was already giddy and freaking out because there are just the cutest wiener dog puppies um, all around. And of course, as um, wiener dog obsessed owners, we just assume that they're all gonna be best friends um, and wiener dogs are very stubborn. But um, it was such a, a bright part of um, my month in September, um, certainly in the last week. And it was just like, ah, this is what heaven is like. Just a sea of dachshunds all over, um, all different kinds of dachshunds. And um, all the owners are just super excited, um, thinking that we're all gonna be best friends um, and our dogs are gonna be best friends and wanting to do more meetups. Um, and you know, I think brighter days are, you know, when we have Christ with us. And certainly I think that just um, my love of animals, especially of dogs, um, is uh, something that I, I truly think, you know, is something that um, can be placed within us and our heart, who we are, how God creates us. Um, certainly because uh, my family has always kind of thought that um, even if, you know, no matter what circumstance we are, if there is ever a free wiener dog or a really cheap wiener dog, um, like that opportunity comes along um, that we would um, rescue that dog. Um, and so that's how we got um, Lucy. She was an ad in a newspaper um, for free um, and had really never been out of a kennel too much. Um, you know, she has scars on her face um, from being bit or scratched from another dog in this tiny little kennel. Um, and so, you know, that's that's where I kind of think is um, 
we have brighter days for these dogs, um, but they also brighten our days. Um, and sometimes those types of callings and things that mean so much to us come from Christ. Um, and that certainly brightens all of our days. So I just wanted to come on here and share that with you on where I see some brighter days in my own personal life. And I encourage you um, to share and to look around in your own life and see where you are having brighter days. Um, because of Christ and um, just in general in your lives because there's a lot of brightness ahead. So um, go and have brighter days, share your brighter days with others, and we'll see you here on Sunday for brighter days.